what are the five steps you introduce in your book to help readers walk into the destiny God has prepared for them? It, I, I felt the need to start out talking about uh, being overwhelmed. Right. So the book starts out defining and describing things people are facing, spirits that are coming against our life, um, issues that we all are facing in our families and in our lives that are absolutely overwhelming. That's right. And then I'll shift the book toward overcoming. Yes, you do. And I thought about how, too, that the need to speak about the, the end times and the Lord's coming and what the Bible predicts will be the atmosphere of the Lord's coming. Mm -hmm. So I went to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24 mm -hmm. where Jesus is on the Mount of Olives and his disciples come to him and he says, they say to him, what? We, wanna, we, want two, we got two questions. When are you coming again mm -hmm. and what are the signs? Right. And Jesus, instead of answering their question, came right back at them and answered it in a way that they didn't see coming. He said, first of all, the first thing he says in verse 4, take, and he answered them saying to them, number one, take heed to yourself. Right. Wow. What do we do when we think about the end times, the signs of the times, the, the, Jesus could come, is he coming today? Is he coming, right. to, when is he coming? When's right. he coming? And Jesus, the first instruction, the first order that he gives concerning the end time, take heed to yourself that no man deceive you. Mm -hmm. Take heed. In other words, look inside. Right. When you see all these signs begin to happen, they're real. What's going on is real. And, is. and prophecy is being fulfilled in our times, rapid pace, intense, quick. Mm -hmm. It's happening fast. But he didn't say, look out there and be worried about out there. He said, go internal and look and take heed, look within. Take heed to yourself. How am I doing? Yeah. How's my walk with God? Yeah. How's my purity? Yeah. How's my prayer life? How's my devotion life? How's my love life with my family? Am I offended? Am I angry? Am I unforgiving? Am I unloving? Take heed to yourself. Watch out. Be careful. Guard yourself. Yeah. Guard your life. Guard your eyes, your ears, your heart, your spirit. Right. Guard yourself. Do you, have, do you have barriers up? Are you just like the world? Take heed to yourself. Right. Before you worry about this sign and that sign and the mark of the beast and all of that. And we see it. We see that yeah, stuff happening. It it, it, it's not for speculation. Prophecy is not for speculation. No. He's coming today. No, he's coming tomorrow. It's for motivation yeah. to get you on your knees, mm -hmm. to get your family ready. Take yeah. heed to yourselves, Thank to get you. your children. Let an urgency grip your life when you see these things begin yeah. to come to pass. T look inside. Yeah. Look inside. Am I ready? Would I go to heaven if the trumpet sounds right, right. now? Would I be right. taken out yeah. or would I be left behind? Mm -hmm. Take heed to yourself. Then he says in the next part of it, mm -hmm. he says, because nations going to rise against nation, all of that pestilence is coming. Yeah. Earthquakes are coming, various place. This is the beginning of sorrows. Now watch this. He shifts to the second one. And he says, and, and many will go through this. And then he says, look to him. Yeah. He yeah. says, he says, but see that you're not troubled. See you're not troubled. Look to him. In other words, don't, don't get in time hysteria. Right. Don't, 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 don't get gloomy and doomy and, and head for the bunker. Right. And, and put on a gas mask and wait for Jesus to come. <laughs> but he said, he said, see that you're not troubled. Well, how does that happen? You look within, then you look to Him. Yes. Mm. Because the way that you do that mm -hmm. is you, you look to Him. You fix your eyes on Him. And I, and I bring out in the book you, what Jesus did in the storm. You sure do. Because Brilliant. when He was walking on the water, as long as Peter, in the storm, had his eyes on Jesus, yes. the storm could not sink him. The storm could not overcome him. Even though he was being overwhelmed with the winds and the waves, he was walking on them. He was overcoming. 
Yes. And in the moment he took his eyes off Jesus and got his eyes on the circumstances, yeah. he started sinking. That's right. That's but boy, I tell you, he's still a winner. He's still an overcomer because yes. he got out of the boat. Yes. Yes. That's That's right. Right. He walked by yes. faith yes. through the storm. Right. And any time so you good. try, oh. Jesus never puts down anybody who tries That's to walk by faith. Right. The world will, religious people, boat oh, yeah. people will. Uh, yeah. Boat people. <laughs> but but Jesus <laughs> likes people who get out of the boat. Yeah, that's that's right. why you have always been a water walker, not a boat talker. Yes, <laughs> yeah. right. Gets out of the boat oh, and he walks on the water and he builds a house. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That he doesn't have the money to build. Right. He builds a thing By here. Thing, He's yeah. out in the middle of the woods and yeah. he turns it <laughs> into right. a worldwide ministry yeah. yes. while people criticize and talk and blah, 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 blah. He just gets sure. out of the boat. That's why I like yeah. it. Yeah. I don't yeah. care what you wow. think. Yeah. I, I, I like agree. people, and Jesus does too. Yes, he he does. likes people who get out of the boat. And even if they start sinking, the Bible said Jesus reached down and grabbed him by the hand. Listen to this. Pulled him up. And we missed this part of the story. And they, T-H-E-Y, walked back to the boat. Mm. What he couldn't do on his own. When Jesus took him by the hand, they walked what's over your head. The water was over Peter's head. Right. What's over your head is under his feet. And he'll Thank pull you, you up, and he'll walk you back. Yes, he will. And yes, God's look, will. faith is spelled R-I-S-K. Yes, yes, it is. Get oh, out of the boat sure in the is. end time. Yeah. Quit yeah. whining about what need, somebody yeah. ought to do. This. You are the one. You one, are. Of, one of the you chapters. You talk about You that. are the one, yes. not somebody else. And this is the place, and now is the time. Yes, it is. Mm. To Thank walk you, Lord. on oh, the water. Oh, my goodness. Water. You guys, everybody. Looking unto him. Five steps to overcoming. So, is so look one within. Section of the book. Okay, look look within. within. Look, look to him. To him. Look. Number three, Jesus yes. says this in Matthew. He says, he says, and uh, and and the lawless lawlessness will abound. abound. Yeah. The Antichrist is called the lawless one. We're seeing riots in the streets. Right. We're seeing cr people trying to kill Supreme Court judges. It's okay. shocking. We're ch we're seeing murders in the cities of America like oh. we have never seen. You can't. Absolutely. It, it's 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 unbelievable. And on top of that, then Jesus says this, and the love of many will grow cold. That's the church. Right. Here it is, verse twelve. Mm -hmm. But he that endures to the end there shall be saved. It's not a message of gloom and doom. Look it. ahead. To what? To the end. Yes. yes. Jesus, yes. for the joy that was set before him, yep. endured the cross. He did. So what are we to do? I'm looking ahead. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking. I, it's time to we quit to. listening for the sounds and, 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 and just hearing the news. Right. And it's looking unto him, the author and the finisher, and he says, look ahead. That's right. He who endures. What does endure mean? Endures means I refuse to quit. Yes. I refuse to give up. The Greeks had the torch race. And the person who won the race, everybody was given a torch. Mm -hmm. And the person who won the ancient Greek race that was called the torch race right. was not the person who got there first. It was the person who got there and their torch was still burning. They endured. You got to endure. You got to go got through it. some things and still maintain the fire. Yes. Still hold on. When I die, I, I'm going to mess up now. But when I die, I want to die speaking in tongues. <laughs> when I die, I want to die on a deathbed praising the yes. Lord. I want fire in my torch. I don't just want to get to the finish line. No. I want some fire yeah. in my torch Ooh. when I die. I want some passion for yeah. Jesus yeah. when I die. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Amen. How about you? Yeah. 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 Turn to somebody and say, my fire is going to be lit when I die. I'm not going to die. Some old man who's bitter and mean and angry, I'm going to die with my torch still lit. Amen. Yes. I didn't Whoa. come this far to become mediocre, no. lukewarm, no. and cold mm -mm. spiritually. I want some fire. Jesus. Yes. Amen. So now, yes. now, step five, I know what I it got, is. You know it's look up. <laughs> look up. I like that one. <laughs> but step four is look out because that's, that's so yeah, important look out. to this ministry. So, so 
some yes, part. It is. I wanted to come here to say step four, look out. Look out. Because mm. then comes this unbelievable verse, verse 14. Here's the end time, the response of Jesus. And this gospel yes. shall be preached of the kingdom, shall be preached into all the world as a witness to the nations, and then the end will come. Amen. Look out. Yes. Lift up yes. your eyes unto the harvest. The harvest is ripe yes. and ready to be harvested. But somebody's got to preach yes. the gospel yes. to the yes. nations yes. of the world. Yes. He said that before the invention of internet. He said that before the invention of technology, modern technology. Yes. He said that. And here I sit on this set with the man who was there when TBN was birthed who was there when 700 Club was birthed, who was there in doing puppets or whatever you were doing <laughs> in every one of the major worldwide ministries started network, Christian network, PTL. God's not through with you, no, Jim Baker. Right. God's not finished with you. You still, and this gospel shall be preached into all the nations. That's why you ought to support this ministry. Yeah. We need all the gospel preaching ministries. Yeah. We, I'm not yeah. in competition with anybody. No. No. Uh, no. Our, exactly. The problem with the body of Christ is we're competitors with everybody yeah. and fellow laborers with nobody. Wow. 